This is definitely a homo sapiens speaking. Do not doubt. I repeat, do not doubt. Let's talk about how to create generative art in Blender using Grease Pencil and Python. I will not be responsible for any troubles if you used a real Python, or a real Grease Pencil, or a real Blender. In this video we will go about to see how to draw basic shapes such as ellipse, segments, black holes, Einstein Rosen bridge etc. First create a grease pencil object. Now, we need to create a layer. To draw a frame, we need to create a frame. Create a frame at zeroth frame to start. Let's create all the utility functions to get the points for the basic shapes. To start with, a point. Robot revolution, just kidding. Or, am I? Now let's get the points for a vector starting from the origin of the universe. and modify that function to get an arbitrary line. To get the points of a circle, use all the trigonometry your friend said we will never use. Spoiler alert, we are using it. To make it an ellipse, let go of Copernicus and fall in love with Kepler. Or maybe the change the value of the radius in the function to a and b. For creating arc, do the same you did for a circle, except not. Do what you always do, start something and never complete it. Now for sectors, just do arcs and connect the start and end points to the center of the circle. Segments, same as arcs, but this time, connect the first point and last point.
for a polygon, you can use the same function for a circle and give the sides argument what you want. Now for a polygon with alternating side lengths, modify the circle function, adding A and B values as shown here. To use all these functions, we need to create a stroke on the frame we created earlier. After creating stroke, get the points for the corresponding shape function and assign the points attribute of the stroke with the return values, and you've got yourself a beautiful looking piece of pixels cobbled together to make your funny little brain think, what is that, you ignorant pieces of imbeciles, I mean, what a beautiful work of artistry. To rotate or translate, let's create the corresponding trend for matrices and apply it to the points. There are several ways to do this, I think. Now that you've completed the first part, let's celebrate it with a dance. <laughs> 